Uh, so one of the things that I wanted to do uh, when I got uh, my seasonal fire center job uh, is uh, I wanted to buy a PlayStation 4, not a PlayStation 5, uh, because the, the PlayStation 5 uh, had just come out, so I was thinking that uh, the, the prices for a PS4 would drop uh, quite quite a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was thinking I could save uh, money uh, by buying a new PS4, which. which <coughs> Uh, that, that's the same thing I did uh, with my Xbox 360. Uh, yeah, I, I waited until the, the new Xbox generation came out. Um, I think it's called an Xbox One, but uh, uh, I think they changed their name or something because now I'm seeing like Xbox series x or or something or the new version of the xbox one i, I don't know but look what, what whenever uh the new generation of xbox came out i went out and bought an xbox 360 and i i think i got the xbox and the warranty uh, it, it was brand new to uh yeah we got the console and the warranty for i think less than 275 dollars so, something like that but but yeah which, which is really cheap and i was thinking i could do the same thing uh with a ps4 uh, and yeah, so so when I got my fire center job, uh, it, I, I I was making a lot of money. Well, maybe not a lot of money, but a, a lot more money than I had before. So I I did have extra money, and I was thinking I could now buy one. Uh, but when I went looking for uh, PlayStation. That was my phone. Got a text message. Probably from my parents. They're pretty much the only ones who text me. Yeah, since, you know, I'm not social, I guess, but that's a whole nother video. But yeah, anyway, so I went out looking for a PS4 and just could not find it. I, yeah, this was last summer. Uh, yeah, but started my job in July, so it was, yeah, right around that same time I was looking for PlayStation 4 and just could not find it anywhere. Uh, no stores had any PlayStations or Xbox, because I, I guess there's a computer chip shortage going on uh, and also because of the pandemic, you know, they're uh, way behind in supply and yeah, yeah, so this could not find any game consoles anywhere, uh, yeah, and and then eventually I heard that they have now quit making the places in fours and are now just focused on places in fives, the, the new generation. So yeah, but I did get a PlayStation 4. Yep, I did. I, I had to get one refurbished, I think, which I think is just like a used one that, uh, came back 
uh, well, it, it, I used one that someone uh, gave back to a store because they, they didn't need, like they, they traded in, uh, I guess, and then the store fixed it up uh, to make it working again. I think that's what refers means. Yeah, which, yeah. All right, all right, I'll, I'll look at the message later. But yeah, but I, I wanted a new PlayStation 4. Uh, yeah, but just could not find them anywhere. So had to order one online. Uh, and, but I, I did get a warranty, which yeah, I'm, I'm glad. So I'm covered if anything happens to it and yeah, but it was still ended up being uh, more expensive than the Xbox 360 that I bought, which, which yeah, but still I guess a lot cheaper than the PlayStation 5. But yeah, so anyway, uh, since I was sick, or, or like, I guess not really sick, but dealing with my health issue, I was playing a lot of PlayStation 4, uh, a lot more than I should have been, but you know, I, what was I going to do? I, I just was dealing with my health issue that I didn't want to do anything else so yeah but yeah but so I've been playing the PlayStation game Spider-Man the, the the first one uh, uh, yeah I haven't gotten the, the new one with Miles Morales not yet I will because they it did come out on the PlayStation 4 and 5. Yeah, it will probably, probably be the last new game that I can play because that is one downside to uh, buying the last generation of game consoles. You, you, you can't play any of the new games that come out because they're, they're only for the new generation. But, but, but yeah, I'll, I'll get to the next Spider-Man game later, but, um, after I, uh, am finished with this, this Spider-Man game, I'm, uh, gonna have to stop playing for a little while, because it's eating up a lot of my time, but, but yeah, so I've been playing the Spider-Man Alright, shut up, phone. Oh. Yeah, it's just a reminder. I heard you the first time. <laughs> but yeah, so I've been playing it and I got into the part of the game that <laughs> if you played it, you, you know that Spider-Man uh, has to deal with a virus uh, that was man-made and released intentionally into New York. Uh, yeah, in New York City. So, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, just, here, you can just take a look at this. Let me see. Okay, see, yeah, see, so look at that. Look, this is this is in the game, and you can see the billboard says, you know, stay safe, stay home, which that's pretty much exactly what I heard uh, in 2020 during, the, yeah, there when the whole pandemic started, and then and uh, yeah, and then also. Let me, let me show you. See, you, 
Yeah, look at these people. Yeah, the people walking around New York not not staying at home, but see, yeah, they're they're wearing face masks. Well, that that one guy isn't, but every, everyone else is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and th this game came out in 2018. So it pretty much just like predicted the pandemic, you know, virus and everyone outside wearing face masks, almost everyone. <laughs> yeah, and then the, the whole stay safe, stay home. So it, it's like, did they know something we didn't know? But yeah, yeah, but they, they Nailed that. Nailed the face mask and the, the slogan, stay safe, stay home, which is amazing. And what does this guy have to say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you hear that? Quarantine. Yeah. Quarantine. <laughs> And also, you know, if you play the game, there's these, like, uh, I guess podcasts from the character J. Jonas Jameson. And in one of them, he even mentions the 1918 pandemic flu, which I'm sure most people hadn't heard of until 2020 but I, I didn't hear of that but but it's in this game so it's it's freaky cause they, they predicted a lot of that stuff that happened yeah yeah it's just amazing to me how accurate they were and now I'm in the future well sort of for the me that was in the clip just watched I am in the future but for anyone watching this I'm in the past but for me right now I'm in the present so yeah I'm on everything at once <laughs> but yeah but yeah so anyway the the, uh, the video clip you just saw that was the clip that was supposed to uh, close out my last video and yeah, but yeah, and then a whole bunch of the hell stuff happened and, and yeah, yeah, so now, I don't know, it's probably a month after I filmed that and yeah, I, I have stopped playing PlayStation uh, for a little while now, just taking a break uh, after I beat the Spider-Man game. Uh, in that clip, I, you know, I mentioned uh, my parents and uh, how they're like the only people I talk to, and yeah, and. Yeah, and then just recently, uh, they came down with COVID, both of them, uh, they, even though they were both double vaxxed and boosted, uh, like me, uh, yeah, they still got it. Uh, for, for them, it was like having a bad cold, uh, but, but but yeah, but now now they've recovered and doing fine. And I somehow did not come down with it. Yeah, even though I uh, spent the whole day with them the day before they tested positive. So yeah, uh, I don't know how I didn't uh, come down with COVID. Yeah, yeah, 
yeah, the day uh, that they told me they tested positive, I went to a COVID testing site and got tested. I, I took two tests, like the rapid nose swab and the saliva one, and both of those came back negative. Yeah. And then also, I got those free at-home COVID testing kits that uh, the government is sending out. Yeah, and I I took two more of those because my new job was starting uh, a week later. So, so yeah, I, I took uh, one at-home test. Uh, a couple days after I took those two, just just in case uh, when I took the first two tests, it was too soon to get a positive test. But yeah, the first at-home test came back negative, and then I also took uh, another one the day before I was. Uh, uh, the day before I had this job orientation that I had to go to, to, to start my job and yeah, and the second one also came back negative. So yeah, I tested four times for COVID in a week and four negatives. The only other time I got tested for COVID was back in March 2020, uh, which I, I talked about in another vlog from two years ago. Uh, yeah, yeah, in uh, months, about a month, it will be two years exactly. I do not like those new nasal swab tests because you, you have to shove up both nostrils and then like swirl it around for five seconds in both nostrils and it <laughs> uh, for me it was not good it was like uh, it was like it was scraping and also kind of like tearing the inside of my nostrils and my, my eyes were tearing up uh, I did not enjoy those at all I actually kind of prefer that first test where they just take that big giant swab and then just stick it up one of your nostrils way up. It's, yeah, it's just one nostril that they did for those. But, but the easiest test was the saliva one. Yeah, I would much rather, rather just do the saliva test where you just spit a whole bunch into a tube that was a lot easier and less painful i didn't get covid but i had to stay away from my parents for two weeks so i was pretty much isolating yeah because well, I, I was isolating up until I started my job. Then I got to go outside my house. But before that, I didn't really have any place to go. Yeah, yeah, because my parents' house is the place that I go to the most. Yeah, yeah I, I go over there. Like about once a week and do laundry. They do have laundry uh, in this small uh, uh, comp apartment complex where I live, but it, it costs money. So I, I just go to my parents' house and do my laundry for free. Yeah, I couldn't do that uh, uh, when they had COVID. So yeah, I had to go and pay for it. And, 
and yeah, yeah, there's a few days where I didn't go anywhere. Uh, yeah, just because I couldn't go to my parents' house. Really, the only places that I went was to the grocery store and to do my laundry and also I, I think one other store I went to. Yeah, it was pretty much self-isolating once again for those two. Well, pretty much it was just for one week and it's then my job started and then, then I was out, out of my house. Yeah, and now my parents are better, so I'm over at their house more. Yeah, basically, if I can't go to my parents' house, then I'm just here at my place, going nowhere. And and if I don't have a job, yeah, then yeah. I have no job and can't go to my parents' house, then I pretty much have nowhere to go. That's something that I've been trying to work on, trying to find some place to go, like maybe join a sports league or a club or something. Oh, well, actually, I guess I did go up skiing once or twice during that week. Yeah, yeah, I did, Good. since it's winter, so, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess I did go get out of the house a little bit more than I thought, but, but you take away going to my parents' house, and that's a lot of time spent away from my house, gone, yeah, then I'm just here in my house. Or apartment, I guess. Not doing much. Yeah, yeah, just because I rely on my parents for a lot. I, I always have. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be it for this uh, vlog, I guess. Uh, until next video, goodbye. Mm -hmm.